Hi, and welcome back to my workshop. I'm Andrew Malazzi, and today we're going to be gluing up the carcass for the shaker nightstand. And just a fair warning, my shirt changes a few times back and forth in between, and that's because I filmed things in a different order than what I thought I would edit it in. So, don't be distracted by that, well at least I hope you won't be, uh, because it really doesn't matter. I felt like in the end I just wanted to show things in a more logical order that flowed better. So, enjoy! All right, I've gone ahead and done my final test fits. I'm very pleased with the, with the fit of this mortise and the other corresponding end, as well as my two sliding dovetails at the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill uh, some holes in the back of it just to put in a dowel for extra support on the front here. So I'm gonna be doweling these. I'm not gonna draw bore them or anything. I'm just gonna drill straight through them using my uh, egg beater type drill and then I'm gonna peg them with some homemade dowels because I'm trying to do everything on my own by hand out of this two by four. And something I use because I'm eventually gonna make myself a doweling uh, dowel plate is I got one of these light fixture mounting brackets and I drilled out one of the holes right there and I just hammered through that. It's actually pretty useful and I've already made some but I figured I'd show you exactly what I do for it. It's really, really simple. And my tip for you is, um, as long as you have a good piece of metal and something to support it, and then you size your pieces that you're gonna hammer through it, pretty close to that size, you can get a really nice result. Now, the, the more you're trying to remove with these as they go through, the less uh, finished they're gonna look and the less nice they're gonna be. So again, shave it down and whittle it down or what you have to do, whatever you gotta do, to get it pretty close to the final size and then just, uh, hammer it through and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect if it's a little undersized in places it's not that big of a deal and the first thing I do is I take just a large chisel and I split it down the middle of the grain here and this one actually didn't even split on the grain so no big deal it split on uh, its own crack line where I guess that would be like the pith there so I'm just gonna split it once more it's like we're kind of like using a fro so I just keep splitting it All right, so I got that, I've got that piece right there, and I'm gonna go once more, laying it down inside and just split it out. There's a pretty good piece, that's actually pretty large, but it doesn't matter. Then I just take my small pen knife, which I also use my, as my marking knife, my dovetail knife, and you just whittle away. And of course, as if you've seen this before, you just put a tip on the end and I just hammer it through. So I just hammer a little bit and you can see that's the actual final size. I'm gonna whittle it a little bit more down to that. I wanna get it as close as I can to the final dimension. One nice little dowel there, not bad. And I'll add it to my collection over here, which is not too bad. Now, obviously I don't wanna go all the way through, so I'm just gonna take it just so the point goes in, and I'm gonna mark on my bit here. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and glue this up. I'm just gonna put a little glue on this. I'm not worried about it that much. Drive this home.
Okay. Here's the glued up front. I love it. As you can see, you can see we got the dowels. We got them pinned in the back there. Love it. This thing is great. Nice and sturdy. Let's check for square. We can still manipulate it a little bit if we need to. Here we go. We need to see how square we are. We're close. I don't think it, you can tell, but I gotta shift it just the tiniest little bit. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good. I'm gonna leave it go. Come back with a wet washcloth, and that's good. As you can see, I've got everything doweled, pegged or whatnot. I got even the top set on there. I put the drawer face in, fits nice. And yeah, the drawer's a great fit right now. You can see the inside, nothing too much to look at. But yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, so we had basically an uneventful glue up for the most part, but uh, I mean, that's probably not quite true. There was a little bit of an event, which was that I made a mistake when I was gluing it up and uh, I had to fix it by brute force. Doesn't that always happen? I don't know. So let me show it to you. Here you can see that I actually had to, this was down a little too far because I had cut the mortise too tall, I guess, and it, and I doweled it low. So I had to drill out the dowel and then hammer it back when the glue is like half dried already. Well, it left a crack right there, which I doweled it here then, I drilled through it, clamped it and the glue squeezed out, which I figured it would because it's gonna fall the grain up. But, you know, whatever, it's whatever, so. Well, thanks, I hope you enjoyed the video, that it was useful. I'm so excited to have it all glued up. I'm ready to get the drawer constructed and then put some paint on it. I haven't decided exactly the technique I'm going to use. I was thinking about just putting like a wash look on it. Then my wife was saying maybe I should go ahead and just paint it and just leave it a really good, nice coat of paint on there. I don't know. I'm going to talk to my sister and see how she wants it. But I'm excited with the result. It looks great and I'm ready for this drawer to come. And uh, But I'm ready to get the drawer all made and in there. So. Thanks again, and I'll see you around for the next one.